Surprise, you thought we were gone, but we weren't. We were lying. We were lying. Well, I was lying. Welcome back to Dial Town. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back, and you have no choice. <laughs> you always have a choice. You could leave. That's true. If you're still here on episode, what, seven, though? Seven. Uh, I think you're probably dedicated. Yes. Uh, or so, a masochist. Or a masochist. Or both. Anyway, welcome back to Dial Town. I'm Mantis. And I'm Lux. And today we are going after a different phone. Oh, yes. Yes. A very different phone. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a dirty boy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess which one we're going after? I mean, you know. I know! I, I, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Is, is it the printer-looking fella? That, that's not a phone, Mots. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> is it the cell phone-looking fella? Or is it the cinder block-looking fella? I mean, we can't <laughs> necessarily just prove that isn't the a microwave. smartphone. The sm <laughs> yes, it could be a smartphone. Just turned oh, sideways. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think the one I said, well, no, yeah, that's a cell phone, never mind. Yeah. I thought I said smartphone, but I didn't. Forget what I said. <laughs> Jokes aside, uh, we are going to go Randy hunting. <laughs> yes, this is a fan favorite in the Dial Town fandom. Yes, it does exist. Look it up. <laughs> I actually love the fandom. They're great. They produce such wonderful art. And we, we got a brief glimpse at Randy last time. I showed up at, at the end of uh, Oliver's route. Yes, he did. And he's a fun one. Honestly, pretty sweet guy. If, at least if the demo was anything to go by, which I think it was. It, it should give you a pretty good feel, everyone. Uh, do we want to skip the intro? Uh, yeah. So, what shall our name be? We're still going with Bone Genji, or we're going to go with something else. Yeah, we can we can change the name if you'd like. Here for the behind the wheel. Let, let, let's have a slightly different name each time, at least. Okay. <laughs> so. Phone Ginger. No, no, what we're gonna say. <laughs> oh, oh, we can we can do Phone Ginger. <laughs> phone Ginger. <laughs> phone Gigi. Phone Gigi. <laughs> phone Gigi. <laughs> now we go with Phone Gigi. Phone Gigi. Oh. Do you want to go phone, classic phone head or typewriter head? Hmm. I'm biased. <laughs> I, I like I like the phone head too. I, I do also know that like uh, certain characters have uh, preferences. Oh, that's so interesting. So I don't know. Yeah, here head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters. Ah. Uh, I don't actually know which ones are available to which ones though. I suppose I could see if there's a way to look it up. No, we're going- I'm pretty sure phone head will work with Randy. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say phone head works with Randy, but I guess we'll find out. We're coming after you, Randy. If we have to do this again, you'll know why. <laughs> a kaiju? I'm sorry. The, the they, them, their uh, option change? changes each time. Does it change? And it's the dodo. It's the dodo. It's the dodo. I love the dodo, though. We love us a dodo. The exact dodo from Day Ship 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably from some sort of uh, renaissance painting, by the looks of it, honestly. I'm surprised it doesn't say boy with an eye. That, that is surprising. And it doesn't matter. But <laughs> it's hard not to say kaiju. A kaiju is the best one. Always. Oh, oh hey, there we go. It okay, just skips so it does the, uh, skip opening. the intro. That's 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 which is good because we weren't going to voice the intro, so. Okay, so you can go back to episode one if you are for some reason coming in on episode seven and want to see the intro. Long story short, uh, we need to break into the fun fair to lay our eggs. Yes. Oh, uh, so that 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 means we've uh, skipped talking to Ticket Jerry. Oh, you're right. That, that, that is probably the only real loss, is not speaking to Ticket Jerry. Tears and moment of silence. So we need to go to the playground, because right. there's, a, there's someone at the playground that we failed to meet properly last time. A little shit who happened to be more important <laughs> to Oliver's route than we had realized. 
That ball is bouncing by itself. It's a ghost ball. Alas, your only form of intel. Why, why is that Why is it grayed out? out? I'm gonna measure the ground first. Measure the ground? Why are you measuring the ground? <clears throat> also, a thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a different voice than I did last time. Oh, really? Yes. I'm not gonna change my voice. <laughs> Exactly 25.05 feet away. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You know, now might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this very playground again in the first place. Chats. I refuse to learn any lessons. Radio. Yeah, no, no, I, d I don't think I can quite get that uh, that voice that I was aiming for. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Oh, now, now you can. can s <laughs> oh, I see. You had to make sure you were legally a certain number of feet away. Summon a nearby kid. <laughs> childer, childer. Come gather round, Childer. I mean, in that voice, it sounds like you're going to kidnap them. I'm going to put you in a stew pot, <laughs> little Billy. <laughs> <laughs> this is now going to proceed a lot of me talking to myself. A little on our bit, output. yeah, based on our, our division chart. <laughs> we decided to divide up uh, the characters based on who interacts with, uh, uh, wh whom the player interacts with in what order. Yeah. And these voices are really far apart from each other. They're very different. Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child! Yeah, I'm a child, what of it? Honestly, it sounds like the Baba Yaga has come to take little Billy away! Baba Yaga has come to take little Billy away! <laughs> I'm four seven, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to me having a grass app on my phone, and I take my crystal meth licorice flavored. <laughs> okay. You're a monster. <laughs> this is a menace. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. Why, I remember when I was your age. Fourteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, hatchling. Anyway, get in the stew pot, Billy. <laughs> hey, the tale is confirmed. Tale is canonical! Tale is canonical! Why, my tail hadn't even grown yet. Still waiting on that bad boy to regrow. But once it does... Ah, something happened to his tail. Well, their tail. Okay, scary green person. Say, aren't you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this here playground? Joke's on you, you vertically stunted s -lord. <laughs> I measured the ground before summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal, but still legal distance. Ha! <laughs> You're less than 25 feet from me right now, though. Nuh uh uh. That's impossible to do in the hack place. Yeah. <laughs> we learned that two digit number at school yesterday, so your reptile brain BS won't work on me this time, bozo. Well, double jokes on you, you little scrub. The law says I can't get within 25 feet of the playground! Not the little scrotes contained within its confines! Or the haunted ball there within. Indeed. Technically, you approached me! I win! So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then, but please! No, I need intel! <laughs> 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 uh, 
And this is about the question about the birds and the bees, and I'm sorry, my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. Turns out S gets nasty when birds F. <laughs> now, it's not that question this time. Then what is it? Can you bring me into the fun fair? Let's not take a child to the fun fair. Yeah. What are the new cool words? Oh man, cool is the new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. Oh no. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Coward! <laughs> we don't need to know phone slurs, child. <laughs> I also just want to piss off little Billy. You just want to piss off little Billy? Say, what do kids eat? Where one might lure one into a gingerbread house and put them in an oven. <laughs> little Billy, do you like gingerbread? <laughs> The most fucked up phone Genji. Well, it's phone, phone Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> phone Gigi. They're an ass. <laughs> you try to lure more kids away and clean your tan again? Maybe. Yeah. You are, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Now answer the question, you free if you bastard Estain. Well, personally, I consume exclusive diet of glitter, molding clay, chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets, like most kids my age. Maybe this is why he's fucked up. Yeah. You want to write this down? They can't. <laughs> I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? I got one. I got five. Five bucks. <laughs> five bucks! Sure. Because I don't have a pen. Home dog slice man. So, what else do you want, bozo? Be gone, child. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a name, you know. Yeah. And I don't care to learn it. Just, just slipping back into the old voice. You, you are. It's okay, you know, if you want to do the old voice. Big on, stunted one. All right, later, bozo. Well, this was a fruitless endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go to Uptown Dial Town? Yes, let's go to Uptown Dial Town. Uptown Dial Town. Uptown. Should we talk to God? No. Well, wait, no. We didn't talk say all the things with God, did we? No. Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. Name's Hound. You need something? We'd said this one last time. Yeah. Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah. I do piss in the dumpsters and sleep in the alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. Create everything around you right now and fart out the cosmos and stars and shit. Kind of a big deal, actually. Do you remember which one we said last time? It may have been the second one, I don't remember. I honestly don't. You look like a hobo. Those things aren't mutually exclusive, friendo. I think we might have said this one last time. Ah, fuck. <laughs> so if you're a god, then how did you end up creating everything? Did you ever, like, leave a take out box in the corner of your room and then forget to bin the box only to find that a new species has evolved from the remains of your chicken thai curry from last month. This world
world is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon the infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. So we've asked if he's drunk. Uh, we've asked if he's free of getting arrested. Yeah, I don't think we've asked anything else. Yeah. We haven't asked if he can pay us in the fun fair. Can you <laughs> pay me into the fun fair, God? God, how much would that even cost? One? Maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? <laughs> Aren't you God? Don't you control reality? Can't you just counterfeit some money? <laughs> counterfeit the money. Control reality? Pa! Look at this shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now. Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? God makes a point. Yeah, he does make a point. You wanna fix shit? You'll be God for a day. Now take backsies. Oh, Gigi's like, yes, give me. <laughs> I know exactly what I'll do. I'll get little Billy mm -hmm. and I'll put him in a rock. <laughs> in a rock? Yes, and I'll put that rock at the bottom of the ocean. Ah! <laughs> you, you think you just kill- No, 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 I want him to be fully sentient as being part of Coral. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite hobby. Favorite hobby. You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? Shifty phone eyes. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? Even God is disgusted. What are you, <laughs> some kind of weirdo? <laughs> At least forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks. See, there we go. Should we ask anything else or, or uh, head off? Um, should we punch God? We should punch God. <laughs> You fool! <laughs> oh no! I am a god! How can you kill a god? Oh no, he's coming for us. He's gonna get us. What a grand and intoxicating innocence! How could you be so naive, I? Okay, I appear to have just shit myself. Or shit me self. <laughs> You win this round, green one! You win this round! <laughs> Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? I mean, you just shit yourself, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted ten years of my life with. Not, not, like, like, we weren't married or anything, we were both evil hags living in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks to be you. I'm glad that I don't have any outstanding child support payment. Sharon, wait, no, the kids, please! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Local phone shop. I was gonna say, cinema is all of That's her That's Karen. Yep. Phone shop. Phone shop. Phone shop. Phone shop. Why'd you wander in here, phone Gigi? A phone shop of all places.
I doubt they do repairs for people who stitch together flesh heads, you know? If that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Gigi? The... The phone. Someone... Someone answer the gosh darn phone! Oh, this one's southern, I think. Yeah. Which, uh, direction of southern? <laughs> southern Bell, perhaps? Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What... What's up? What are you hollering for, hon? Am I? <laughs> Just watch them, and they don't know where they are anymore! <laughs> Is this... Heaven? Am I dead? <laughs> I just punched God. <laughs> no, wait. This place is far too drab for that. The river sticks, perhaps. Oh, I get you. Because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hon. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you wanna understand? I thrive in ignorance. I thrive in ignorance! Well, yeah, what is this place? We're standing in the downtown phone store shop. We're standing in the downtown phone store. Shops near a hunt. Hunt. Hunted? Hunted? Wow, like that, that is really hard to say. Do you want me to grieve yeah. for Gabby? Are you good? Shop's near a hundred years old, now set by my pa, God rest his soul. Shop initially sold whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays. Well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces just sell... A hundred pieces sell just as good as the one complete phone I find. Same thing goes for the most aspects of life I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. <laughs> now if you... Now if you want to know... Now if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. You should drink something. Yes. Do you need me to take over for Gabby? <laughs> you want to take over for Gabby? I can. <laughs> Please take over for Gabby. <laughs> Gabby, why are you so hard for me to speak as? How is this place still in business? Selling telephones seems a bit like selling air since, you know, half of all people have telephones built onto their shoulders. Well, like I said when you first came in, I still move phones, don't you worry? Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Speaking of actually selling pieces. What kinds of customers do you normally get in here? There's actually phone Gigi's voice that's actually getting ah! <laughs> more of an irritant on my throat. I might have to really? change. Really? Yeah. yeah. If it's you all need that change, shouting. If you need a change, please do. All sorts? Healthcare ain't exactly the most affordable, and often enough, it's something small in the head that's acting up. A rusted piece, a shot transmitter, etc., etc. So most people don't want it, or rather can't afford to go to the doctor over a malfunctioning part. So that's where I come in, or rather my shop and my pots do. With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand and instructions, of course, to replace a faulty part. Of course, each to each their own. I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. Anyway, that's how things have been for the most of my life. But of recently, different parts sell. I'm going to do a... a, 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 a... A bit of a different voice for phone Gigi since it's all uh, tearing up my throat. 
What kinds of parts sell now? Oh, a more softer voice. Cosmetics. I see a lot of youngins coming here from time to time looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Slap them on their heads and bam, you got a hybrid head. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's just them expressing themselves. The breaking down of old societal rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new people coming and old people leaving. It's called progress. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, you were what others said you were, and that was that. Were things simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You knew your role. But clean ain't perfect. It just means folks were suffering out of earshot. Easy to take a beautiful photo when the trash is served out of frame, ain't it? Folks are speaking up for themselves, and people miss the simple times. But those times were never simple for the folk who were now speaking up for themselves, and change is never parted. Gabby giving an uh, incredibly strong and very direct uh, commentary. Yeah, and she's right. Out of curiosity, what do you think? Hmm. I mean, I think I know the answer. <laughs> That I would give seek at least. happiness? That's what I would say. I think people should seek happiness. I'm glad to hear it, friend. I sought my happiness when I punched God. Yes. I've always found the idea of living as something you're not mighty ridiculous, given that we have the technology to change ourselves. Humans are just incomplete masterpieces, presuming we can be considered as such. And I ain't never finished. It's abandoned. Don't you give up on yourself. We can all change. And that's the end of the episode, because <laughs> how are we going to top that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tell me about yourself. Oh no, she, she, she blinked there for a second. She did. You wanna know about me? Oh, well, I'm not all that interesting. Just been alive long enough to hear a few interesting notations, meet a few interesting people. I'm old if your eyes ain't doing so hot. Sorry, I mean optical sensors or, or whatever they're called now. The way I see it, if you see with them, their eyes. Don't matter if your head's a phone, typewriter, or what have you. Anyway, my story ain't much to tell. If life was a story, I'm sure I'd be one of those bit characters, you know the sort? Just sitting in the same place all day, just waiting to be found, so that I could share what I know about our funny little world. <laughs> Gabby casually references the fourth wall. Yes. <laughs> My father probably would have had would have been a better person to talk to, you know. He set up a shop right here for a few shakes after the telegram went the way of the dodo. Would you believe my pop sold Callum Crown his first telephone back in 42? We've been in Dial Town for a long time, our line. In a way, I'd like to think that we're just a part of history, even if it's only just. Who's Callum Crown? Oh, you know. I don't know. The inventor, the man who be built the very first phone head. Fella became the mayor of this here town and then the president of this here country. Well. Mr. Crown is busy. Of course, this was all before the worldwide dial-up, mind you. And weren't for him, 
we still have old fleshy heads and the world will be nothing like it is now. Oh, some world building. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you were alive before the worldwide dial-up? I have no idea how long ago that was. So that may or may not be impressive. I'm not sure. Yeah. When I was a little gal, the whole world had flesh heads. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters in our homes and businesses, sure. Just not mounted on our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what to ask. Animals or the flesh <laughs> bone? <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's ask about it. Yeah. So, were animals different too? Sure. They had flesh heads too, all of them. No one had mechanical head back then, human or otherwise. Huh. Another question, I suppose I'll hear it. Did you know Callum personally? Most of the town did then, when I was a little girl. Couldn't afford the fellow when he was campaigning for mayor, and then the president. And then president, sorry. Something about him was infectious. He just knew what he wanted. He had a vision, a dream. Fellas like him, they don't matter what they do or where they go. They just attract power. Sometimes that ain't the best thing for everyone, though. And that's the last I'd say on the subject. So should we head off or should we ask her to take us to the Ask her? Right? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's... Yeah, but uh, ask her. Can you take me to the fun fair, oh wise cabby? Believe me, hon, I'm flattered. But now, uh, I got a store to manage, I'm afraid. Is it me? Nah, I mean. It's the flesh phone head, isn't it? Look, hon, I'm sure you'll find someone who ain't. Who, who's into whatever it is that you are. Keep searching. God knows I get weird customers in here, if you know where to look for them. I know one will bound to take you, so don't give up. <laughs> Great, <I'm> really <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, Gabby. We're going to find us whoever this Randy is that I've written on my hand. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, you gonna buy some more? I possess no money, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take our leave. All right, take care now, you hear? Summon Gabby? <laughs> oh, you know, Funfair and Woods, that's probably where we can find uh, and or search for the Bigfoot. <laughs> Perhaps. But, uh, should we head to downtown Dialtown? Let's go downtown Dialtown. We've yet to find Randy. I believe is in downtown Dialtown? I could be wrong. Hmm. A nearby pole teleports directly to you! God! What the F? You hope to notice something, anything that'll put, somehow help you into the fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Something about a clown. Okay. Let me read the first advert out loud. Hiya, I'm Froggles the Clown! What the F is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore! But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real, clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral, primordial ape who lives in the woods and has only ever been seen in hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly! He might as well be my uncle! Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? I'm barely people! <laughs> I'm barely people! 
people don't lay eggs. Do clowns lay eggs in this universe? You lay eggs! My point exactly. So clown eggs are like a thing. <laughs> what if they're like Easter eggs and they're like they, multicolored? They, they are. They're literally just an egg painted with like the uh, makeup design of a clown. Oh, on really? It. Yeah, That's you can find them in uh, West of Loathing, too. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. We were just talking about that funny. With thing. a red, bulbous tumor attached to your face. That effing honks. They have gigantic shoes, and yet, and yet... They drive around in comically tiny cars! They'll blow up balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat! Bone Gigi is having a panic attack here. They ain't having a good time. As if such absurd antics are menial! They truly are wretched creatures! Off of beings. Okay, okay, so we should skid up over the Frongles advert then. Do we read the clown page? <laughs> up to you. Do you want to read if the that read the clown page, it might be funny. But you said! Fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page. Read the clown page. I'm reading it, I'm reading it. I love that that, that, that canonically. Yeah. You can't read. So the narrator the reads narrator for wants to you. read for you. Well, yeah, that does make sense, actually. <laughs> Hiya, boys and girls. I'm Vrongles the Clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but I'm now, I'm now dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. I'll do just about anything for $4. Please hire the clown! I'll do anything! The clown will also blow out the microphone for like the past 10 seconds. I'm sorry! <laughs> That's okay. They're, 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 that's really the only volume that you could read that text at. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm living in a storm drain right now! You any task is too lowly for this clown? Four dollars, my god! You can afford that! Come on, I have a chip to feed! There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end, then. Yours honkfully, Frongles the Clown! Honk honk! Huh. Wow. Hey, do I have four dollars? You don't have two dollars, honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think the whiplash I got from hearing that is gonna make me vomit. I don't have a corporeal form, and I think I might vomit. Wait, what even are you? Physically? I guess I'm like a disembodied voice. Wait, how does that even work? Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that you can only hear uh, to rationally explain itself to you? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. You're fucking crazy, man! Stop following me around! That's good advice, so I would just refuse to follow it. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, here's another one. Rent a chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you! Yeah, you! <laughs> Hey, you want to take my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral side now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but that's just adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. By God, you can afford that. Okay, this is clearly that Froggles the Clown character again. Narrator, can I borrow four dollars to rent the chip? Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troglodyte. 
You need to focus. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. I'll rent the chimp later then. Or not at all. Right, right. Are there any other advertisements latched onto that thar pole? Yeah, yeah, there's exactly one. Phone sex hotline. Somehow, I I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again. The bounce. <laughs> Calling the number or yeah, let's bounce. <laughs> Call the number. Uh, we do also need to stop soon. We do? Okay. Should we call the number or should we uh, should we stop and leave that for next time? Let's call the number. Okay, okay, if you insist. Hang on now. We're calling the number, darn it! Forgot to read that. It's okay. How are you even gonna make the call? I have a phone. My phone head. <laughs> to the nearest phone booth away! Is our phone actually not functioning? Maybe it's not functioning because it's flesh. <laughs> I'm amused that there are phone booths, but it does make sense if half the population, population doesn't have typewriters. Yeah. Alas, here we are! Dial Town's only phone booth! Since half of, like, all people have their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say that this thing hasn't had much use. This booth, I think it could spot the wings. Honestly, this booth feels bigger on the inside. It seems to have the ability to solely contain far more filth than this one particular fed box should be able to contain. Oh, come on. Is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. This place reminds me heavily of myself. Or can I name the raccoon? Which one do you want to do? Let's get at the first one. Nope. Because it's sticky and smells weird? Well, that and the weird stains, yeah. You ready? Sure am. Read the number. Good show. Glad to see some enthusiasm. Will the narrator's voice ever be consistent? No. The number is, uh, your enthusiasm for us for naught. I don't get it. What's the number? It's, uh, 800 <laughs> minus 8 equals D sexy phone. Oh, it was 1 800. <laughs> yeah. You sure you're ready? <laughs> With great reluctance and dread. <laughs> With. Great reluctance and dread. Yes. The phone just flipped her out. Huh. No dice. I have the schlock next to the keypad wrong. <laughs> did I type the schlong text drawing into the keypad wrong? Oh, that's why the equal sign was there. I'm so stupid. It's okay. <laughs> no, you actually replicated the number wiener with startling ease, given your literacy. The error was more so that you not putting 25 cents into the phone box's coin slot. 25 cents? Who do they think I am, Winston Churchill? Why did you land on his name? Of all na- never mind. <laughs> I don't want to know. I... Look point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're senseless. <laughs> so what's the plan? We do have to definitely stop now, though. Ah, shoot. We are 52 minutes into the recording. And even now, uh, cutting out those pauses of me debating what uh, voice to give phone GG, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll definitely be uh, running a bit over time. That's okay, we can stop. We sadly have not encountered Randy yet. We'll find him. We're working on it. We're working on it. I'm sure he's just around the corner. I'm sure he's just a phone call away. <laughs> we don't have money. We spent our last quarter on that film crew to get a phone call with them. To tell them how they were the closest that we believed to ever finding Bigfoot. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed 
join us again later this week to find Randy and uh, shake him for all of the time that we missed out on not shaking Randy. I hope you enjoyed this little sort of trot around dial town that we didn't do in the first episode and a little world building. Yeah. We probably could have spaced some world building out better if we knew where all the points were, but... Uh, probably, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. See ya! Mm-hmm.